Right, now let's turn our book to page 26. What is molecular mass? Molecular mass is the sum of all the atomic masses of the atom in one molecule. The atomic masses found on the periodic table are the number of grams of the element in one mole. So that's standard. Uh, so let's look at the next example. Let's do example 1.5. By using the yellow page, determine the molar masses for the following pure substances. A. Magnesium. So for magnesium, you have to look at here and then you will find that the relative atomic mass or the molar mass is 24.3 grams per mole and then the B sulfur dioxide S is sulfur 32.1 plus 16 for oxygen times 2 because there are two atoms for one molecule you get 64.1 and then C for copper sulfate you do as what you have done earlier 223.3 gram per mole and finally this is the molecule of glucose C6H12O6 you have 24 plus 12 plus 16 times 6 you get 132 gram per mole right let's do question number two now how many atoms of sodium are there in 13 grams of sodium metal firstly you need to find the number of mole for sodium. 13 grams divided by 23 got from your yellow page equals to 0 0.5652 moles. And this is multiplied by the Avogadro number and you get 3.40443 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. For experiment that Adam is going to perform, he needs to add 12.5 moles of iron to sulfate. How many grams must he weigh out? So we are given the number of mole. All we have to do is just multiply by the uh, relative molecular mass, which is 55.9 plus 32.1 plus 64. So the answer for this question is 1.9 kilograms. Now, what is molar volume? Molar volume is a number that we are using to determine the volume if you are given its number of mole. So the volume occupied by one mole of gas at a particular temperature and pressure is 22.4 decimeter cube and at room temperature it is 24 decimeter cube okay let's do example 1.6 number one at stp 0 0.15 mole of oxygen o2 gas is filled into a test tube what is its volume so the volume is, we use the 22.4. This is the molar volume at STP and multiply it by the number of moles, 0.15 mole, and we get 3.36 liters. One mark. Next, number two, determine the density of one gram of nitrogen gas at STP. This is quite long. Why? First step is you need to find the number of mole for that gas. So, 1 gram is the mass, 28 gram per mole is the relative molecular mass which you have to find from the yellow page, 14 times 2. And then the answer would be 0 0.0157 mole, 1 mark. And then, you want to find the volume of the gas. 
the volume of the gas is smaller volume multiplied by the number of moles. So 22.4 multiplied by 0.0357, you get 0.8 liters. 0.8 liters is the volume for this gas. Now, the question wants you to find density. Everybody knows, hopefully, what density is. It's mass over volume. So, 1 gram is given. 0 0.8 liters is the one that we find. It is 1.25 gram per liter, the density. Madam, why is it liter? Where do we got liter? Well, liter is actually the same as decimeter cube. I just want to show you for the first time today. Okay, good. Question number three. A graduated cylinder contains 22.5 centimeter cube of mercury. And then the density of mercury is given. The molecular weight is given. If the molecular weight is given in the question, you don't need to look at the yellow page. Use the ones given in the question. And then uh, calculate the number of mole of mercury in the cylinder. Firstly, you need to find the mass from the density formula. So mass equals to density multiplied by volume, you got 304.425 grams. And then you find the number of mole by dividing it with the relative molecular mass or molecular weight. You got your answer 1.5176 moles. Two marks for this question. Good. Figure 1.8 shows us the conversion between the number of particles here into mole and then mole we want to change into volume by using the molar volume and then mole we want to change into mass and vice versa so basically this is the summary of what we have been doing so far and finally let's look at uh, one compound over here. The formula is C20H24N2O2. If the question asks you how many carbon atoms do you have in this compound? 20. How many moles of carbon do you have in one mole of this compound? 20. It's not for grams, it's for atom, it's for moles. Okay? So, that's lesson three. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you again next time. Assalamu alaikum.